Okay, jumping back to using Fetch, the new ES6 way with promises to make AJAX requests. Um, every once in a while you're going to want to make a Fetch request where you actually have to upload a file. Could be an image, could be a resume, a JSON file, an XML file, some sort of binary file that you want to send to the server. So how do we do that? Well, I've got a web page here that I've built and I've got uh, a hidden field with a value. So this is just a piece of text that I'm going to be sending to the server. And then I've got an input of type file. So this is going to be something that I use to accept a PNG. So I'll get the little browse button that appears before it. If we open it up in the browser, here we are. So here is my file field and I can click choose file and then just randomly select one of these PNGs that I've got in this folder. All right, now I have this file in my form. When I click the button, I'm going to take both these pieces of information. So I'm going to take the text and I'm going to take the file as well and I want to send them up to the web server. So my JavaScript file, which is attached right here, uh, I'm using Postman's echo function. Basically, it's just a URL that I can send the file to. It's not doing anything with the file. It's not saving the file. Nothing's happening to the file. It's just being sent somewhere. I just needed a place to send it, so I, I arbitrarily chose the post endpoint for Postman Echo, just so the server would send me a response. So I'm waiting for the DOM content loaded, wait for my web page to be loaded, my init function will call, then I'm finding my submit button and I'm adding a click listener to it to call this function. First thing I do inside of here is I'm stopping the form from submitting. So I'm taking the click event, click event and I'm saying prevent default. Don't let the form be submitted, which is what a browser wants to do. You have a button inside of a form, you click on it, it wants to send that form somewhere. I don't want to do that. I want to control what happens with the data in the form. So here's all the code that I'm going to use. I'm going to create a header object just to say what I'm expecting back is going to be some JSON. And then here, this is really where all the power happens for this uh, example. I'm creating a form data object, which is the same as what you would use if you were just going to send up some text. If I wanted to create a bunch of name value pairs, user ID is this, user name is this, password is this. You know, I can grab a whole bunch of pieces of text, numbers, strings, whatever, send them off to the server, bundle inside, inside of form data in my request object. So I'm going to be calling fetch and passing it the request object. I'm defining what the URL is. That's my global variable from up above here, postman echo. I'm specifying that the method is going to be post. I can't use get to send an image to the server. I am going to set up my headers just to say that I want to get back some JSON. I'm using no cores and here. This is where the form data will be submitted. So this right here, this FD, this is my form data object. Fetch is set up so that it can accept a form data object. There's a few other types as well, but a form data object, just really easy to work with. Once I've created the new form data object, I'm going to call the append method, and here's my field I'm going to call user hyphen ID. I go off to my HTML form, I find the user underscore ID field, and I get its value. So that was the number 75 that I'm putting inside of here. So that's the number. And then this is the part with the file. Get on by ID avatar underscore IMG. That is the input field right here. Type equals file. ID is avatar underscore IMG. I'm taking that field and whenever you have an input of type file it automatically gives you an array called files so this is a property that's built into the object if you only choose one file there's only going to be one thing here so it's the first thing in the array if for whatever reason you were going to come inside of here and we can say multiple 
this means that I can attach multiple files. Well, I don't care to do that, but what we're doing here is we're just grabbing the first file, which is the only file. This variable now points to the actual file that I brought into that form. So in my browser, this code-lg.png, that PNG file is now inside this variable, my file. Then my form data object, I'm appending the same way I did with text. This is what I'm going to call the field that I'm sending up to the server. Here is the actual file object. And then, unlike with text, we get an optional third field where we can define what we want to use as the name of the object, or the name of the file, rather. So avatar.png is what I'm going to be calling the file when it's received in the server, whether it's Node.js or it's PHP or it's Ruby, whatever the language is that I'm using to receive this file, this is what they will see as the name of the file that's being sent up. So this will exist if we were talking PHP, then I would have something in my files, super global array, avatar is this, and then file name, I think there's an underscore inside there, that would be avatar.png. So this is if you were using PHP. This value, this variable, would contain avatar.png, this value right here. All right, so that's bundled now. This is inside the request object as the body property. We call fetch, we pass in this request object, when the response comes back, we're going to write on the screen response received from server inside of a paragraph that has this ID. All right, so we jump over here and I click the upload button. I'm on the network tab inside of here so I can see the HTML and the JavaScript both loaded. When I click upload, there we go. Post was called. This was the, the page, postman-echo.com slash post post is the page and if I open that up there's the response if I more importantly if I go into the headers and we can see it was a post the status I got back was a 200 the request headers this is what I wanted to get back was some JSON and way down at the bottom here request payload this is what actually got uploaded this is the body of my post request form data user ID 75 so that was the value for this field and then I had a field called avatar which has a file name avatar.png that was the name that I gave it and content type is image slash PNG this shows that there is actually a PNG file attached to what I sent to the server and that's it if you need to upload a file of any type along with fetch this is how you can do it so I will save both the HTML and the JavaScript as code gists and put them in the comments for the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment before, and as always, thanks for watching.